So recently on Friday, the 25th of August 2023, the Azimio leader, Right Honorable Raila Odinga, attended the funeral service of the late Maumau Brigadier, John Kagwe, famously known as Kiboko in Nyanarua County, Mount Kenya region. And I don't want to lie to you, I just want to tell you the truth, that Raila Odinga faced it rough during that event. In fact, Raila almost walked out immediately the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Rigiji himself, started speaking. So even before we go straight into the deeper details of this video, I just want to show you some of the clips of that event that were trending across the social media, showing how Rigiji himself, together with Raila Odinga, clashed thoroughly during that event. <laughs> kama wa Kenya uhuru henge patikani Jamoki na disema Jomo Kenyatta and all those who detained with him were and are the true leaders and without Kenyatta there will be no freedom in Kenya Jamoki lekuwa mjaluo Kenyatta ni mkikuyu wajaluo ni mkikuyu wale kuja pamoja kuleta uhuru ndugu yangu kwa hivyo ubaguzi ya kikabila ambayo mnajaribu kuleta hapa mwacha hiyo Kenya ni moja sisi zote ni wa Kenya na ukifanya pamoja Kenya itainuka na hiyo ndio hao jamaa walikuwa wanapigania uhuru ya Kenya pamoja hiyo ni mimi nasema tufanye pamoja tuko tayari azimio iko tayari kuongea wacha eh, nani eh, ichung, kimani ichungwa ongee na kalonzo na hiyo kaa kando, Ruto kae kando, Raila kae kando. Mungu aweke mzee wetu palipema pipo. Mheshimiwa Prime Minister, karibu hapa kwa mazishi ya Maumau. Babako mzazi Jaramogi tulimtambua sana kwa kupigania wanyonge. Hasa alipigania watu ya Maumau. Nadi aliandika kitabu akasema not yet uhuru. Kwa sababu Uhuru ulipatikana lakini mashamba haiko patikana. And he was right and he was on spot on. Wewe umejulikana kwa kupigania haki ya wakenya wale wanyonge. Ningekuuliza kwa heshima uige baba yako. Pigania mashamba ya Maumau. Na wale ambaye wako na hiyo mashamba unawajua ni marafiki zako. Utusaidie hapo. Kati huo atutaidie. Eni Babake alikuwa shupavu na mimi namheshimu sana babake huyu kiongozi wetu because he fought for our land even Zaile Mzee Jomo Kenyatta alikufa 1978 huyu Mzee Jaramogi alikuwa amefukuzwa kwa kanu akakatazwa kusimama Rais Moi akamrudisha aende apiganie kiti 1979 akaenda akatoa hotuba akasema hata kama amekubaliwa kusimama akakodea mambo ya rad grabbing akafukuzwa tena kwa hivyo yeye amekuwa consistent kwa kupigania ningetaka kwa heshima huyu kijana wake shupavu nimuulize pia atusaidie kwa hii mashamba yetu iko na watu hapa hapa ekali 1100 ekali 1030 watusaidie hao watu ya maumau wako hapa wapata eka mbili eka tatu alafu nao wakae sawa sawa wana former prime minister I agree with you 100% our constitution but in this video today ladies and gentlemen i just want us to focus on the absence of four people who in my considered opinion are the strongest foot soldiers of Raila Odinga and the Azimio la Umoja Alliance in the larger Mount Kenya region i want us to talk about the absence of the Nak Kenya party leader Honorable Martha Karua, who is the deputy leader of Azimio La Umoja Alliance. Secondly, I want us to talk about the absence of Jeremy Kioni during that event. I want us to talk about the absence of the former Laikipia County Governor, Honorable uh, Deritu Muridi himself, and also the former CS for Agriculture, Honorable Peter Munya, during that event, who was supposed to be there to attend so that they can receive Raila Amolo Odinga. So who exactly received Raila Odinga during that event? I want you to watch this short clip here. You can see uh, Mwangi Wairia who was present, received Raila Odinga immediately arrived. 
for that event. You can also see that guy in white shirt, I think he is the minority leader uh, in the National Assembly, Honorable Opio Wandai himself. So in this video today, I want us to do a proper analysis on why these people that I've just mentioned snubbed Raila Odinga during that event. And also, I want you to remember that these four people that I've already mentioned previously met in a secret meeting, which they told us that it was just a consultative meeting. I just want you to look at this photo here. But before that, just in case you're here for the first time or maybe you're currently watching yet you haven't subscribed, I'm just requesting you to please take a second or two and subscribe to my channel. You can also give this video a like. If you do that, YouTube will automatically recommend this video and this entire platform to reach out to others. Our main goal, our main aim, our main objective here is to grow together. To my returning subscribers who are currently watching, I also want to take this opportunity to really appreciate you so much for your continued support. Without your subscription, without your support, this channel cannot be where it is currently. And that is why I don't take the support for granted. If you also want to automatically receive the notifications updates, immediately I post a video on this channel, just press the notification bell. Having said that, now let us go straight into our critical analysis for today. Why do you think Martha Karua, Jeremia Kioni, Deritu Muridi, and Peter Munya, who are strongest leaders of Azimio in the larger Mount Kenya region, missed out during that event? In my considered opinion, it is because of three major issues. First of all, it is the presence of the deputy president himself, Regiji. The truth of the matter is that these leaders of Azimio in the larger Mount Kenya region they fear so much Rigathi Gashagwa. First of all, I want you to remember that Rigathi Gashagwa enjoys the advantage of being the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, who is the senior, which is the senior most position politically in the larger Mount Kenya region. So he is the senior most leader. In fact, he is being considered as the kingpin of the larger Mount Kenya region currently. And also, I want you to realize that he enjoys the fact that he is, or that event took place in his own region, the larger Mount Kenya region. So in my considered opinion, somebody like Honorable Martha Karwa, with the humiliation that he faced, that she faced actually, during the presidential debate, whereby she faced Rigadi Gashagwa face to face, and Rigadi Gashagwa outsmarted her, humiliated her so much, you know, majority of people had so much higher expectation from Martha Karwa. But Rigichi became the strongest. So Martha Karwa will never want that situation to occur in her life again. In fact, since that presidential debate, I have never seen anywhere Rigadi Gashagwa together with Martha Karwa because of that humiliation. So basically, Rigadi Gashagwa's presence is what made these leaders to miss out during that event. And I want you, you, you have just watched that clip of how Rigadi Gashagwa lectured Mwangi Wairia so badly, together with Raila Odinga, alone. So you can clearly tell people don't want to be embarrassed by Rigadi Gashagwa. You know, Rigadi Gashagwa is a truthful man, a honest person who tells you the truth the way it is. He does not want to care what you will think about it. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, it is because of Raila Odinga's rejection. The truth of the matter here is that Raila Odinga is still facing severe rejection and hostility from the larger Mount Kenya region. In fact, the people who are with Raila Odinga, they are not doing it perfectly simply because they are hiding they know that this is a political suicide within themselves. The reason as to why I'm saying this, Jeremia Kioni and Martha Karwa yesterday in Kajiado County, where Bayre Lodenga had an event there, they were present. <laughs> 
Siku chache tu Bado mandamano 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 Bado mandamano mandamano So what made them to be absent during that event of Maumau Brigadier's funeral? In fact, I expected them to be there because that person is the freedom fighter, the Maumau from the larger Mount Kenya region. They were supposed to be there. So they missed out that one, but they were present yesterday in Kajiado. Jeremiah Kioni was very much present. <laughs> So you can clearly tell that it is because of Ray Lodinga's hostility that is facing in that part of the larger Mount Kenya region. That is why these leaders did not want to be involved in Ray Lodinga's uh, uh, presence, you know, that kind of issue. And that, ladies and gentlemen, it is because of Martha Karua's effect. The reason as to why I'm saying this the photo that I've showed you previously, let me just show you again, of Martha Karua having conducted a meeting, consultative meeting, together with these leaders, Ma Jeremiah Kioni, and Ritu Muridi, Peter Munya, and the rest. So I strongly believe that Martha Karua is the current leader of Azimio in the larger Mount Kenya region. And she actually has a say when it comes to political events involving as Miolo Moja Alliance in the larger Mount Kenya region. So when she missed out, you saw other people, other leaders missing out also. So that is also Martha Karua's effect. I don't know what you think. Let me hear those on the comment section below. Otherwise, I don't have much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. I stand to be corrected also on the comment section below. Let me just hear your opinion. Please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, my name is Jesam. Bye-bye.